Guys, I have a little tutorial video for you guys who are using Sony Vegas 13 or trying to figure out the best settings for HD, like 1080p and all that. So I'm gonna show you guys right here what you need to uh, what you need to do to make your videos look all crisp and clean. So the first thing you always want to start out with is the properties, and this is very important so your video doesn't have like blurring when uh, when it's finally rendered and everything. You always it's always gonna be on this, but what you want to do is do disable resample. So this what this does is like takes out blurriness that will be probably shown on the end product of the video. So it's very important to do that. So the next thing we do is you gotta go to the project properties. We're on to the second most important part of the video is the project properties. So what you're probably gonna want to have if you're trying to go for 1080p is this set on 1080 by 29 frames per second. So it looks all like this. So the first thing you want to do is take this when it says upper field first. You want to change it to non-progressive scan and that's it's a lot better that you do that because it makes some weird effects to your videos that you would probably not enjoy when the final product comes out and then the next thing you want to do is you can set this on 30 frames 29.970 is literally rounded up to 30 frames per second so you just want to keep it there unless you want to go to 60 frames per second but it's not always a, a necessary thing to do if you don't want to do that the next thing is on to pixel format. It's always going to be set at 8 bit, but for this, you're going to want to change it to 32 bit because it shows more of the frames in uh, the video, which makes it look a lot cleaner and smoother as you're uh, watching it. So, the full resolution rendering right here, you can send this to good or best. Um, for this video, I normally go good, but I, for the best result, you want to go best. <laughs> best result, you go to best. Alright, so once you do that, you want to do start all project with these settings, and then press apply. The next thing you want to do is go to the audio. And all you really want to do is it's normally about 44 or something like that. You just want to put it to 96,000, and then just apply it. What you want to do here is uh, the render settings, the most important thing that's going to make your video look nice and beautiful, and it's going to make it formatable to put on YouTube. So, you want to go to render as, and what you're going to do is look to your settings till you find main concept AVC AAC and once you find this you want to expand it you could double click it or just tap this little arrow to pop it down so next you want to find the internet 1080p you want to see this and then just customize template so right here you have the beautiful template itself so obviously you guys are going to want to have it as this 1920 by 1080 not this weird format and then what you want to do is when it comes to this just keep it as main keep this at 30 frames per second and keep this all checked. Field order, make sure it's on none. And right here, we gotta come to the variable bitrate. So some people can go crazy and make the videos look beautiful, but that's like a lot of gigabytes, which I don't think you guys would really want all over your computer. Like, it's like 20 gigabyte files. So for a smaller file and a faster upload, you probably wanna set it to like 14 here, 14 million or and 10 million. It's an, it's a good it's a good setting for that and then once you're done with that you want to come down here and then do render using CUDA if available so if you guys want to check if you do have that you'll do check GPU since CUDA is available if it says that then you can, you can use that sometimes you can use your CPU but that makes for overheating in your um, computer and you probably don't want that and you don't want your computer to die so the next thing you just want to set this since the video was originally says 96 you want to keep that as 96 and then that's that's all you should have and then you just check this again and the project this is the last part you have to do is you just have to set this the best or good whichever you prefer and then you should be all ready and that, once you have that you probably want to name it I forgot this part probably want to name it I'm gonna name it you you to 1080 so 1080 so once you have that you want to click this save template right at the top and then uh, once you do that it's gonna be right there and you want to click this little star here so when you um, are gonna render a project you just press show favorites only and it's gonna show you the one that you made you you're not gonna see this one because this is the one I actually use but yeah once you do that you just want to take this and you just want to click render and then it should render video render finish so let's take a look at this now look how beautiful this picture looks this looks very nice, very clean, and I think I actually will keep using this one. 
and you guys should use it too. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and leave a like down below. I really appreciate it.